I've taken over to do the morning shift. Faye and Lucas are in bed. I like the morning shifts because of the sunrises and that. Yesterday morning we had a squall come in, 35 knots, out of nowhere, just before the sun come up. But today it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, sees nice big rolling waves. Uh, we're motoring again because there's very light wind dead behind. Pointless really jibing, so we're not going to make up any ground. So, we the motor until the wind either picks up or changes direction. Um, we're just off the coast of Morocco by Marrakesh, and um, yeah, hopefully, today's another good day like yesterday. The first two days were horrific um, to the point where. <laughs> I said, that's it, I'm not doing the Atlantic, I'm not, not doing it, I've had enough, but I don't know, if things stay like this, I think I'll change my mind. How does this make you feel, Faye? Amazing. It's been a it. it's been hard this uh, crossing, isn't it? Yeah, it has been hard, but this makes it worth it. Like There's a baby one. Right there. Oh, it's a baby dolphin. I'm just on my night shift now. We're just off the coast of Africa, and we're on night four of our passage to Antigua. We're hoping there's only one more night, so we should get there on Sunday. We've got the motor on again because there's no wind, um, or not enough wind to sail. So it's been pretty rubbish. The waves are massive, absolutely massive. Um, so it's been really rolly and not very comfortable at all. I'm not feeling great today. Um, it's been really difficult to sleep because you just roll about everywhere. Um, and it's really noisy because everything's banging in the cupboards and um, we've got the engine on so it's not been it's not been great. Hopefully we get some good wind tomorrow so that we're able to sail. Um, so we're a little bit worried about how much fuel we're using as well, so if we can sail that would be great. Um, on the plus side though, we have seen loads and loads and loads of dolphins which will never get old. They're the most incredible creatures, they're beautiful um, and it's always amazing for them to come and swim alongside the boat. Um, we've also had incredible stars, I've never seen a sky like it. Um, really, really cool, so I can't complain. problem with Poppy going to the toilet on the boat. We made her a little toilet in our shower and she's been, which is amazing, so that was a massive relief. Um, she did get a little bit confused and went on the bath mat, um, which was a little bit of a pain, but bless her, at least she's going. Oh! <laughs> oh! What happened with the bath mat incident, Ryan? So Poppy's got a toilet in the in our shower um, and I've gone in to go to the toilet at five o'clock this morning and walked on the mat which she mistakenly used as her toilet um, which you knew about and left it for me to walk in. <laughs> so yeah, thank you. Sorry Ryan! Out tonight to watch the sunset. It's been uh, a 
stressful few days on the crossing, but today's been amazing. Uh, not the best sunset, but a really good end to our trip. We've got 100 miles left. We'll be there tomorrow at time. And cheers, guys. Cheers. Yes. This is it. Just finished the last night sail. Um, we've got a happy morning fay here. I just found you just. <laughs> we've got Poppy and we've got Lucas. And we are eight miles off the coast of Lanzarote. I'll just show you. There she is. And um, we're going to get the sails up in a minute and sail in the rest of the way. <laughs> Where are we guys? I think it's Lanzarote. But we hope it's Lanzarote. Five, day so. five days at sea and we're here. How many miles have we done? 600 and... 660 I think the garment 660. Yeah. 660 miles, five full days at sea, and we are here. <coughs> Cheers guys! Cheers! <laughs> So this tit just pulled straight across in front of us when we had right of way, he was the overtaking vessel. Um, but never mind, Faye is now putting up our Canaries flag because we still got the Portuguese one up and very uncouth of us. At last, she's done it. How many meters do you think that is? Two or three meters. It's crazy. That's 4.8 meters deep there. We're in the Canaries now. We've been here a few days. Better weather. Much better weather. And um, we just thought we'd let you know what the crossing was like, tell you the highs and lows. And uh, Lucas has left now. Yeah. He's back in Portugal in the cold and the rain. Not as, bad as, not as bad as England, but still not as nice as here. Yeah. 
Um, thank you very much, Lucas, as well, for all your help. Yeah, you were amazing and we love you. So, we'll tell you a bit now about what happened. It's supposed to be a four day sail, um, 600 miles. Ended up being a five day sail. It was literally five hours to the hour, wasn't it? Five days. Sorry, five days to the hour. Five days, one hour exactly. Yeah, exactly. Um, and it wasn't 600 miles, we did more like seven, 700. 734. 734. And that was because we had really strong winds and they were coming directly in front of us, so we were beating into them. Um, so we weren't making much progress. Our speed at times was like one knot, um, which is rubbish. Well, we, we got caught in the current. Yeah, we had the current. The waves were worse than what they were predicted to be and the wind was stronger than it was predicted to be. Um, so it wasn't it wasn't ideal. We also had another little problem because we decided to start a tradition before we left of every time we do a big crossing, we're going to have a fry up. Um, we hadn't had a fry up since we left. Um, we were super excited. It was amazing. We got onto the boat, started the crossing about an hour in. Ryan went down, went down and started throwing up, and he was down there for half the night. Being sick? Yeah, half the night until the, uh, the weather got bad. Three hours after I started being ill. I started being ill. But I was um, taking anti-sickness tablets like they was going out of fashion. So I don't think I had it as bad as you. Yeah. Because I, I was dosed up. I don't think massively. it was seasickness. We've never had it before. And this weather wasn't worse than anything we've been through before. So. And we did both have it. So we're pretty sure it was the fry-up. Um, so if you get a fry-up in Lagos, be careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just, that, just stick to the food that the locals eat, yeah. to, to be honest. And that isn't going to be a tradition anymore, is it? No. No, it no. was a one-time one -time thing. So the first first night? First night was rubbish. Yeah, the, the waves were coming over the front of the boat and running down. And uh, like Faye said before, we wasn't making any progress. So it was getting a bit painful, wasn't it? Yeah, it was very painful. So that's why we ended up doing loads more miles. Um, but after the first couple of days, the weather improved, didn't it? And we, we sailed, um, we had some sun, we saw loads and loads of cool things you'll see in the videos. Well, after the wind died down, the waves kept building, uh, but they were big rolling waves, so they were okay. But they were about 10 metres. Yeah, so they were pretty scary. Like, I had a night where I was really upset um, because I was scared, because the waves were, like, coming halfway up to the mast, which, um, yeah was pretty scary. I came up one morning and Faye was crying and I said what are you crying about and she just pointed at the waves. So, Oh we had that squall on the first yeah, big morning. Squall. Um, we had a few few problems as always and stuff that we had to fix um, whilst at sea but we're kind of used to that now so that was it wasn't the end of the world. Um, best bits? Best bit for me was I was doing a night sail and um, all of the bioluminescence in the sea were lighting up and it was a completely clear night and you could see the Milky Way perfectly and there was loads of shooting stars and that was pretty special. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Also every sunrise on the uh, on the crossing I always had from four o'clock to eight o'clock um, which I enjoyed. Yeah you did, that was your thing the crossing. Yeah. Worst bits. Worst bit. Food poisoning. <laughs> no, the school. The school. The school, um, what was it, four o'clock in the morning? Always is. And what was your best bit? My best bit was coming into Lanzarote when we opened the champagne. <laughs> and not because of the champagne, but because it was like finally we were there. And yeah, it was just awesome. We had like music playing. Um, yeah, it was just an amazing feeling. And like we knew we were going to do this, we've said we were going to do this, but to actually get it done and actually do it, five day crossing to some people might be nothing, but to us that was quite a big deal, wasn't it? And it was. I'd nice. use the word achievement. Yeah, massive I felt, achievement. I felt like we'd made an achievement. Yeah, massive achievement, and the buzz of like getting in was awesome. And what was your worst bit then? The waves. No, the sleep. The waves sleep. or the sleep. I like. I really. I can sleep anywhere and everywhere, can't I? Mm. I can sleep through anything, but where the boat was so rolly, um, I couldn't sleep, and I'm not very good with no sleep, so I think that was the worst. I had to do a night shift, and I'd had no sleep for I don't know how long, and that was pretty low. That Pop was bad. Poppy was sleeping with us um, in the room, so when we'd be down there at night taking our shift, Poppy would be asleep, and uh, sometimes our shifts overlapped, 
So me, Faye and Poppy was in bed one night whilst Lucas was on watch. And Poppy kicked Faye out of bed. Literally kicked me out of bed. And well, no, first of all, she started off by sitting on my face. And then then she, like, kicked me. Yeah, she, like, shuffles back and kicks at the same time. And uh, Faye got out of bed and was crying and shouting at me <laughs> because Poppy had kicked her out of bed. So I was a bit, that was a bit confusing. But yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was, that was that night. That was bad. But otherwise... It was really, really good. It was amazing to have Lucas on board as well. Um, and yeah, you'll see, you'll see what happens. I hope you enjoy it. Next time, my mum and dad come to Lanzarote for the week and we take them out sailing on Chelsea. We visit the volcanoes at Timanfea. Joe and Stuart come out to say hello and we meet some other sailors for a messy night. And we leave Lanzarote heading to Gran Canaria.